Actor Joshua Carter Jackson is a Canadian-American born on July 11, 1978, and is best known for playing Charlie Conway in Mighty Ducks, Pacey Witter in the WB's Dawson's Creek, Peter Bishop in Fox's science fiction series Fringe, Cole Lockhart in Showtime's The Affair, Mickey Joseph in the drama miniseries When They See Us, Bill Richardson in the drama miniseries Little Fires Everywhere, and Dr. Christopher Dunch in Dr. Death 2021. The Mighty Ducks series, Cruel Intentions, The Skulls, and Shudder are some of Jackson's best-known productions. He won the Genie Award for Best Performance by an Actor in a Motion Picture for his role in the independent Canadian film one week. The famous actor met his soulmate in Jodie Turner-Smith, a British actress slash model. What started as a simple one-night stand became a foundation for a beautiful relationship that flourished, and both now share a happy married life and a child. But when and how did it all start? Was the journey as easy as a fairy tale? Watch the video till the end to find out. Jackson and Turner met at a party. That's it. They started from there, and Joshua recollects that he shouted to Jody from across the hall just because she didn't notice him. That turned out to be a ploy, as Jody told in an interview that she was smitten with him from the start, but was playing hard to get. From then onwards, Joshua had eyes only for her at the party, and they had their first kiss, which tumbled into their home. From then, they dated for an entire year in secret, and when they finally announced it to the world, they were already married. Everybody was surprised. When did they get engaged? How did everything happen so fast? What did the couple do? This was the start to the ensemble of questions that were in the thoughts of everyone. Joshua answered their questions in an interview with Jimmy Fallon, saying that Jody was the one who proposed to him, and she was quite adamant about it. They also had another proposal, which Joshua proposed. That makes it a double engagement, and that too in secret. Mind-blowingly sweet, isn't it? Their story goes without saying, and received a lot of hate and backlash from the internet, especially Jody, who was the most affected due to the misogynist side of the internet, who criticized her for being the one who proposed. Joshua retaliated by releasing a statement that although she proposed first, he told her she had to allow him to propose to her, as he was old school that way. For anybody who is freaked out by a woman claiming her own space, shut the up. You cannot believe the things they were leaving my wife on Instagram. The internet is racist and misogynistic. She did it. I said yes. We are happy. That's it. That's all you need to know. Joshua told a news outlet while thanking them for giving him a chance to shed light on their relationship and clear the air. Even after putting these incidents behind, the couple started receiving racist comments about Jody being married to a white man. That is so wrong on so many levels, I can't even think about what people who say those things think about all day. In August of 2019, the couple was spotted outside a courthouse together, and rumors started to flow that it was for a marriage license. A year later, when they started getting public about their relationship, they shocked the world further by declaring that they had already tied the knot in secret and also were expecting their first child. They had a beautiful baby daughter in April of 2020, who they named Jamie. When asked about the problems the couple faced while going through a pregnancy during the pandemic, Joshua said, During the show, I found out that my wife was pregnant, so having a collection of super moms around me with everything, from finding doctors to what to expect advice. The super moms in the statement refer to Reese Witherspoon and Kerry Washington, his co-stars in Little Fires Everywhere, who have three kids each. <laughs> wow. The couple also stated that they opted for an at-home birth due to the disturbing fact that in the American healthcare system, black women were prone to more birth complications than any other women, and that Jody wanted the birth to be in the place she was most comfortable in. What Jody said about Joshua will leave you shocked too. She always stated at every chance she got about how great a husband Joshua was, and she loved him more than anything and was so lucky she chose him, which was a great decision on her part. I'm really in love with my husband. I'm doing a pretty good job of not shouting it from the rooftops as much as I would like to. It is beautiful to see someone you adore being adored. I want the whole world to see him in the way that I see him. 
We high-five each other all the time about how great we chose. Well, I think we all agree. We think that too. That's about it, guys. These two are a couple who share a beautiful relationship, which started as something which they were expecting the least. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel to show your love. I shall see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching and have a great time, guys.